My name is Tokwe Ojomo. I'm a filmmaker and um, creative assistant. My name is Adi Folari, and I'm a designer and no code web developer. My name is Akimbile Tony Bankoli. I am a video producer. My name is Stephanie Opala, and I am the executive assistant to Visa Post to Do. My name is Koin Salami. I am a writer, video editor for Fisa Yefosudo. Okay, my name is Kirichi Limibe. I am a video producer, writer, um, creative assistant for Fisa Yefosudo. Uh, I met Fisa on the internet. I got a, my friend sent me his tweet. Um, he was he had vacancy for an editor and I applied in June. Sorry, July of 2021. So I met Fisayo on the 30th of December 2017. Screenshot right here. Make sure you add it into the video. So he did give you a 5K for five people at the end of the year. So that was my first conversation with him. So I won, I won 5K from him, yeah, basically. I met Fisayo like uh, when... How old is he now? He's like 28, I mean. I met him 24 years ago. <laughs> when I now since. I went to the mall, I think, and I saw Fisayo, I think in a, in a phone shop, I saw his video, like playing in front of a phone shop. So I was like, I think a friend of mine was like, ah, this guy, so I was like, I know this guy, that kind of a thing. So after that moment, I kind of, you know, pay close attention. I, you know, watch his videos, I follow him. So I kind of sent him a message, you know, one day I was like, um, I need I need advice on you know books I can read on finance that can help me my financial knowledge, and he recommended a book to me, which is The Millionaire Next Door, and I was so happy that he gave me that response like Ah, Fisayo. Have you read it? Why are you the for my hand? Okay, so the first time I met Fisayo, I saw Fisayo was um, true Taya, you know. I was always recommending Fisai in his videos and I watched one of his videos and I heard oh, this tech tech to myself. <laughs> after that time, I met him after I applied for this job. Um, a friend sent the tweet to me and I applied and I got the job. I met Fisai when I was um, still studying my ALX course and I reached out to him actually to volunteer for him and he liked what I did and he called me back with a job offer. When I first met Fisayo, he was, he gave me these nerdy vibes, <laughs> but he was, he looked very cool and calm and he, I was actually right because he's a very chill person. Like he doesn't have trouble, he's not a troubling boss, like I was really lucky to have him as a boss. Okay, so my first impression of Fisayo when I met him in person was, it was calm, it was he was a chilled, chilled human. He was just, he has this aura of peace around him. So that's, that's the vibe I go from him, straight up. No cap. From the very first day I met him, I saw him, like physically. Um, that should be on the 10th of January, 2023. Um, I mean, it was really, really amazing. First of all, I was starstruck. And um, it has been amazing. Okay, the first impression that I can remember of Isaiah, you know, when we were small, you know, me and my elder sister, we usually like play. We we're the playful ones when we were younger. And Visa was always the quiet one. You know, he was always sketching, drawing. He was very good at art, like from a very young age. So I just used to look at Visa like, who is this guy? <laughs> you know, my first impression of Visa was just quiet. Just, he was just quiet. Hmm. First time I met Fisayo, I think it was when I came here for um, testing, physical testing. I wanted to see my abilities. And uh, when I said, I'm like, ah, you were fine, you're seeing lips. When I said, I'm like, ah, fine, boy, okay, okay. And then, um, but he gave, he gave, he gave up this nerdy, this geekish vibe. So the first time we actually had a conversation was during my first interview. He was first impression, it was a very, like, he was late for that meeting, actually. I'd like to point out that he was late, As but, <laughs> yeah, but he apologized and told me that um, he was going to let me know once he was ready, and then we talked. He was very comfortable. Usually, one of the things about meeting popular people is that a lot of the times you find a different version of who they are um, on the internet, 
compared to who they are in person but it was we had a conversation i mean i wasn't sure i was going to get the job but i didn't feel like you know cow shit after the after the interview so yeah that was really it was a good experience i think what shocked me most about Fisaya was that he knows how to speak Yoruba. Yeah, so the first time I met him, he, he was very gentle and very calm. And uh, there's this thing about gentle people. Like when they get comfortable with people, you know, you know their true personality. But Fisari is always gentle. Always gentle. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> till now, he's still gentle. So that's that's the shocking thing. With Fisayo is just how strong his willpower is. Fisayo can procrastinate a lot factors but when he decides he's going to do something he's going to do it like there are days when i've doubted him i'm like oh no he's not going to do it but he does it that you will see and you look at him like look at him and he's done it was one of the things that challenged me to to always get stuff done um so yeah personality shock in that, in that regard so what i've learned from fisayo is the power of um commitment hard work discipline and holding on to your grind, you know, just believing in yourself that it's going to work out. Because trust me, the, my, one of my first Android devices, I bought it from watching Visayo's journeys review or something. So seeing that growth from like 5K to 10, 1500, now it's over 500K. It's crazy massive. So it's an embodiment of discipline and hard work, yeah. The Valley, I have learned a lot, a lot. In fact, I don't even know where to start from. First of all, Fisaya was one of the reasons why I became good at maths. Fisaya was the reason why I became a designer. Fisaya was the reason why I became so many things. So, I'd, in fact, almost everything that I know now, you know, that I know how to like do, you know, I, I picked it up from Fisaya. First of all, I, I, I have studied this leadership skill and it's really, really top notch, excellent. Um, I've, I've learned you know, I've seen what 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 leadership means. You know, you know, because he this is what he practiced daily. Well, I've learned to be more resilient in um, you know doing the things I do to just make sure I keep going. He inspired me to continue content creation again because I dropped it for a while, and when I started working for Visayo. I saw how he was working and it inspired me to continue because I knew one day it's going to pay off. A lot. I have learned a lot from him. So before I came here, I was into content creation too. And uh, I just used to do content creation like anytime I want to. Anytime there's time, I do it. But when I came here, I realized that it is an actual job. You, it's a job. You take it serious, morning, afternoon, night. You script, you film, you do it like a job. Like every other person has said, I have learned a lot from Fisayo. I don't even know, I don't know, it's difficult to pick one, but I think what I've learned the most is to prioritize people um, with the content that he creates, with the people that he employs, with the the way he treats people, the way he treats his family, the way he treats me also. I mean, I I was a stranger on the internet and started living with him, working with him, and most of the time people see us and they don't even realize that I've known him for not more than two years. So I've learned to prioritize people and it's helped me with my own personal relationships as well. Um, I would say the first day. Okay, yeah, I think in 2022 I I made a I made a post, and I was like, if only Fisayo can follow me back. Is it 2022? Yes. I'm like, if only Fisayo can follow me back, that this would be my happiest moment, like in this year or something. And then he saw it, and he followed me back, and I was, I mean, <laughs> I was so happy that day. I, I lied down on the ground literally that day in school. So we were going back to the island because we, we were at Ikoyi, we were coming back home and NFC challenged him to a car race and uh, I didn't know what to do at first. 
but we, me and Tony, as the devils that we are, we encouraged him. And it was fun to see Fisaya do something exciting for the first time. <laughs> he was, I like, cook, cook, cook. I have, I've, I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of memories with Fisaya. Um, when we went to Ibadan together for TEDx, um, you know, it was the first time I was really like, we had to spend a lot of time together, like a lot. There's that. Um, most of the times that maybe we've gone to, okay, we were away for Trend Up Awards. That was that. I was really fun too. Yes, when we used to play Jazzy Kings versus Avatar United, don't worry, we know. <laughs> you know, you don't know this, but you push us like to do better for ourselves. You push us to be better versions of ourselves. You know, we're also creatives. We're in the same space as you are. You're a pioneer for a whole lot of things in this space in the Nigerian ecosystem. So, thank you for helping us be better versions of ourselves. I love you, bro. Saya is Saya is very kind-hearted. You know, she just keep doing what he's doing. He's impacting in so many people's lives. And she just not stop being himself. There is so much to say, you know, to you, Fisayo, but um, you know what? What will not? What will will fail me if I start, you know, saying these things? And you understand very well. God bless you for, for everything, for your love, your kindness, your your care and support. God bless you. Thank you so much for everything. Keep being who you are, keep doing what you're doing. Um, you think no one sees you, but like the world sees you, not just because you are Fisayo Fosudo, but also because you're a very, you have a very good personality and you shouldn't change that for anybody. I think all I have to say is thank you. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for accommodating us. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you. Kind words. I tell Fisaya kind words all the time. I just was like, I just want to say thank you, really, because you, I've told you before that you're more than a boss to me. You, you've literally, like, I've literally seen my growth as a person, not just as a, um, as a creative person, not just as, not just financially. I've seen myself grow um, as a result of working for you. So, I just want to say thank you for being Fisayo. Happy birthday, Fisayo. I wish you many more years of greatness and success, prosperity, you know, and I'm also wishing you children too. <laughs> Happy birthday, Fisayo. I wish you long life and prosperity and beautiful children too. Because his kids are going to be fine. Yes. Happy birthday, Fisayo. I wish you long life and prosperity and have the best birthday yet. Happy birthday, Fisayo. I wish you more fulfilling years ahead in good health and in wealth. God bless you. Happy birthday, Fisayo. You are quite literally the best boss in the world. And I hope that we get, you know, bigger blessings. Because when you are blessed, me too, I'm blessed. Mm -hmm.